Hi, my name is Terry Newman and we are here today at South Borough Access Media Studio and I am here today with um, a local celebrity reporter, Shana Rose of uh, The Rose Reporter and uh, we are honored to have you here at our studio here today um, and so I would like to um, ask you to a few questions but to uh, ask you uh, to tell us about yourself um, so your audience can get to know you a little bit better because you're usually the one doing the interviewing so it's your turn to be on the other end so um, what grade are you going to be in in the fall? I'm going into the fifth grade and I'm very, very excited about it. It's going to be my first year of middle school. Fantastic, okay and so um, have you um, done any school shopping yet? Have you uh, made any preparations yet? Or are you just waiting? Well, actually, my backpack, my dad got it last night. Okay. Um, I'm very happy with it. It's a unicorn backpack with a sparkly S and sparkles all around it that change colors. Oh, nice. So I've been very excited about that. Fantastic. Okay, so um, you've already got some school shopping yeah. done and you're ready for that. And um, so I understand that you have a, a passion for talking to people and finding more about them and then sharing that with, with uh, the rest of the world and, and your family and friends. So um, maybe um, for the benefit of other people who aren't familiar with you and, and what you do, give me a little idea. Tell, tell me, tell, tell us and uh, the people who are here in your community. Um, well, I started a newspaper when I was about eight years old at the end of second grade okay. um, because I really loved reading always and my teacher said that she didn't want me to read at recess anymore because I always did okay. and she wanted me to interact with my peers more. So then I came home crying and my mom suggested that I started a newspaper and I'd interview my friends at recess. And when I interviewed them, it was very, very fun and I enjoyed a lot. So then I interviewed Governor Baker um, at the end of the year. and. After that, I started interviewing celebrities. I've interviewed um, President Trump, Hillary Clinton, um, and Gene Simmons from the band Kiss, um, just lots of celebrities, and I really enjoy interviewing them for a newspaper that I write. Fantastic. And um, so how uh, you take people by surprise uh, because you're, because you're, you're a student, Yes. And you are, um, you're, you're just not what people would picture as your normal reporter. Yes. So um, what is it that, um, that excites you about this? What, what is it that um, really um, makes you want to do this some more? I just love showing my followers um, just another side of these celebrities, a side where they, they do other things than just what you see on TV. And I like showing people that. I always ask them what their favorite meal dessert is, and um, I show just people like other things about them, not just the, what they do, um, and just what they like doing after their job. And um, I really enjoy showing that. Oh, fantastic! And that's something that everybody can relate to. That's that's um, that's just showing that they're they have their own personal side, and yes. that they're people too. Um, so, uh, do you have? Um, a favorite, uh, well, you said your favorite question was uh, what their favorite meal was. Yes. Do you um, remember some, some meal that caught you by surprise by somebody that you asked? Well, key lime pie is a favorite of many celebrities. Really? They really enjoy that a lot. Um, I hear that often, very often. Okay. I've never wanted to try it, but um, it sounds very good from what they describe, and I hear that a lot, lot, and yes. Okay, and um, so you mentioned some of the people that you've spoken to, um, and I uh, had been reading that you recently spoke to uh, Steve Carell, one of yes, the... Yes, I interviewed Steve Carell and Julie Andrews for the Today Show, actually. They, and they are amazing people. They, yes. they must have um, been excited to talk to you and, and very welcoming, I'm sure. Did they, did they share, either of them, um, anything really fascinating, interesting, or surprising to you? Um, well, I liked hearing Steve Carell. Um, he was very fun to, uh, to interview, okay. um, especially because he's on some of my favorite movies, Despicable Me movies. Oh, of course. Yes, and I watch those very often. Um, but their life lessons I like a lot. 
Julie Andrews was one of my favorite. Hers was, if whenever you're in doubt, just stand still and just think for a minute. She gave an example or a metaphor that I really liked. Um, mm -hmm. That if there's a moth on a light bulb, you just want to sit there and think about what you should do. Because if you act so fast, it'll just fly away and you won't be able to get it. So I liked that metaphor that she said a lot. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and that is a wonderful life lesson. Before you react to something, just stop and think about it. And yes. it's that uh, would carry through to a lot of people because if, I, I think from talking to you, um, if some people stop to think about what they say before they said it, um, it, it the world could be a nicer place. Yes. But um, what I'm also hearing from you is that um, the people are just people. Yes. And that, um, you know, there's a lighter side to what's going on in the world, and you're digging for that. Yes. And so no wonder people want to talk to you. So that that's amazing. That's really Thank you. great. Um, so I appreciate what you do. So this is wonderful. And so, um, so you started in on the journalism side yes. with reporting, and now you're working on the um, other side of, of the camera with, with people. And do you have any um, aspirations or desire to do more with cameras and TV or journalism? Or what, what are your, what are Shana's next steps? Um, well, I really love doing this, and I'm gonna keep on doing this. Mm -hmm. um, but as for behind the camera things, I enjoy filming like mini movies with my brother. Okay. Um, I'm helping him make a YouTube channel. And um, I also really enjoy coding. Um, and I like coding stuff on the computers and stuff and cameras. Mm -hmm. um, I want to take a coding class. Um, I do a little bit of it online. I actually was doing it this morning. And yes, I do a lot of stuff behind the camera. I do stuff like that. but. Next steps when I'm older, in the not so close future, mm -hmm. um, I want to be a brain surgeon. Amazing. And I really want to go to China um, really badly. I learned about it in school and it was just so interesting. So then I learned about it more after school and I really want to see a bunch of sites in it. I really want to see the Terracotta Army. That interests me a lot. And yes, those are some of my next steps. Fantastic. And so everything that you're saying to me from when you started this, I'm hearing your deep curiosity yes. about people and, and the world that, that we're in. So um, is there um, anything this year in terms of interviews or in terms of people that you want to reach out to? Um, well, I really want to interview, um, I really want to interview um, the First Lady, Mrs. Trump. Okay. Um, I'd love to do that. She speaks four different languages and she's just so cultured mm -hmm. and I'd love to interview her. But I'm, I have a very big, um, a very big thing I'm going to be doing. It's a primetime show in Los Angeles. Fantastic. And if you want to hear more about that, you have to go onto my Facebook page, The Roche Reporter. And I'm very, very excited about that. And Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. And um, maybe beyond uh, this year, do you have um, other, like uh, you talked about Steve Carell and favorite movies that he's in, do you have yes. other favorite movies or actors or directors or people that you'd like to um, reach out to to talk to? Because, um, yeah, don't, don't hold back, Shana. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I loved the movie Maleficent, so I probably want to interview Angelina Jolie. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I really love the princess movies and stuff. Um, I've actually interviewed Adina Menzel from Frozen. Fantastic. She plays Elsa, because I really enjoy the princess movies a lot. So I, yeah, I'd probably say Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, do you have any, you talked about places that you'd like to go and to see, yes. um, like China. Yes. Um, how about, um, in the, in the U.S. maybe? Are there places or, yes. or things that you would like to uh, put on your to-do list if you uh, have one? Well, I really want to go on a hot air balloon. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I've never really said that, but I really want to go on a hot air balloon. Okay. Um, I really, um, all the places I learned about in school in the U.S. too are just so interesting. 
Um, I study them after school a lot because I love them so much in school. Um, I love learning about the states individually. Um, okay. I did a, a research project in school about every individual state in the U.S. And I learned so much about them and um, I did some of it after school because I enjoy them so much. Um, and I really like learning about them. Fantastic. Okay, and um, how about with all of the people that you've talked to, uh, and you talked about Julie Andrews with Life Lessons, yes. uh, which that is amazing. Um, have any other um, people that you've spoken to shared anything really, um, something important or meaningful to you that, that you would like to share? It's between Carol Burnett and Jean Simmons. Okay. But I said the story about Carol Burnett. So with Gene Simmons, I really enjoyed meeting him. He's just so kind. And Paul Stanley gave me um, this whole talk about bullying. Um, wow. And they just made me feel so great. Um, it, like I said about Carol Burnett, they made me feel like I've known them for so long. Um, and a funny, embarrassing story that I've never told anyone about Gene Simmons is I got to see um, Kiss's concert after that. And I was so excited. Um, Fantastic. And with that, Gene Simmons was um, playing guitar to me on the stage. And then he got, uh, was like pointing to me to come up onto the stage. And then the security guard said to come up onto the stage. And like everyone in my row was saying, go up onto the stage. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I just got down. And, and then like I had like one knee up. And they, and, and they said, sorry, you're not supposed to go up. So that was embarrassing. Oh. I was like, um, yeah, I was embarrassed by that. Yeah, but, that would be embarrassing. Yeah. So they, they, they didn't have their communication down because he yeah. wanted you up there. I think the point you can take away from there is that he intended for you to have a good time yes. with him. But me and my mom were laughing about that for days after. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I That's life. had a great it doesn't, interview then. It's not always perfect. Yes. But just enjoy it while you can. And so do you have... Um, I know you talked about bullying, you touched on that, and you touched about being kind. Did any of the celebrities that you spoke to, or famous people, because they're all just people, yes. did, did they give you similar advice about being kind? Did, did you hear any of that? Uh, well, Bobby Farley, who's made the movie Something About Mary and Dumber and Dumber, okay. um, he, he, he said to me um, to treat people the way you want to be treated, and Steve Carell said that too. And I hear that from a lot of celebrities, and it really makes an impact on me on when they say that, just to be kind to people. And it's true. And I think the more you share those messages, that it's, it's a good thing that you're doing, because hopefully it will inspire other people to be kind to other people and treat them the way they want to be treated, too. Yes. Those are wonderful life lessons, very positive. Yes. And all the celebrities say, like, key lime pie, or all of them like, have a favorite dessert in common. Okay. It really just shows me how all of them just can relate to each other and that other people at their homes watching the videos um, can say, hey, I like that dessert too. And we just can see how much we all have in common with each other. That's right. Um, no matter how high profile you are, we all just have some things in common. Yeah. So it, it sounds like what you're also talking about is that other people who have followed their passions and um, like you, what you're doing, um, and then they just keep going, yes. and and so that that's a that's a wonderful thing to find out that all these different things that you like. Um, is there um, anything else that you would like to share about any of the famous people that you talk to? I, I know I keep going back to that, but I'm sure there has to be a moment or something where you said, "Aha! Wow, that's really that's really amazing." Do you have an aha amazing moment that? Uh, something happened to you or that you saw, maybe you weren't on camera, but something that you said, okay, I really understand this person? Yes. Um, when I interviewed Carol Burnett, she, she just could relate to me so much, and it, it, she made me feel so, so great, like we've known each other for years. Really? She, um, she just had this way of talking to me, and just it made me feel like we've known each other for so long. We walked out um, holding hands. We... Um, she, but she had a special request that she only wanted, that she wanted all my parents and family and everyone there to just leave the room. And so my dad set up the camera on record and we just were the only ones in the room. And so that was a special request and I've never done that before. So when I did that, it was, um, it was kind of scary because I've never done it. I was very nervous. 
but she just made it feel so much better, um, and I really enjoyed doing it, and I just felt so great about doing it. I really understood how she, uh, what, everything that she said and what she felt and stuff, and I really enjoyed interviewing her. That sounds really amazing, yes. and so she just made it your space and the the time that you had together. She just made it your time together. Yes. And that tells me a lot about her as a person too because she, you valued her time but she valued yours too. Yes. And she wanted you to really have the best experience possible. Yes. Um, and I think that sounds like a, a wonderful lesson that you know you really know how to talk to people and what, what a wonderful feather in your cap. Yes. Um, have you considered using that technique in, in other interviews? Because it sounds like that she shared more or more of herself than she uh, might otherwise with other high profile people. Um, maybe, but my parents really like being there. Um, my mom's always in the background cheering me on and my dad's the man behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And so I like them there, but we've never really thought about that. Shana, you've, you've shared a lot of wonderful things with with us today and so I guess I'd like to ask you a little bit about um, in conclusion you've met a lot of famous people and you've met a, a lot of people who aren't quite as famous but I think they it sounds like they had some great lessons to share with you about not bullying and about being kind and all those wonderful things that we should all be thinking more about and so your message is really inspiring for you to share those lessons uh, is a really great thing so um, tell me um, are there besides the famous people are there any any others that uh, maybe not so famous um, well a lot of people just assume that I just interview celebrities but I try and interview just people who have accomplished a lot of things and can inspire people out on my Facebook page and when they watch the video they just feel more empowered or just like they can go out and do more things. And so, um, so for example, I've interviewed Dr. Benz, who's the recently retired president and CEO of the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and he saved lives. Another might be Adrian Haslett, who lost a limb in the Boston Marathon bombing but even with a prosthetic, was still able to be on Dancing with the Stars. Or maybe another Mark Miro, who's an anti-bullying activist, and he tries to make people feel so much better and makes bullying try to stop. And so, That's yeah. so inspiring. Those are amazing goals. So you don't Thank have you. to be famous. You don't have to yes. be uh, in front of a TV camera all the time. But if those messages got across to you and you share them, then you've done a wonderful thing, and, and uh, by sharing those experiences, you've you've done a wonderful thing for all of us. So thank I want to thank you for coming today, and um, you know, uh, these are great opportunities that you have, and I hope you continue to share them with us and come back again. Thank you thank for you. coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.